Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do smooth head tracking like this in Filmora. For this, we're going to use the new Mocha plugin, so I will show you step by step how to do it. Let's get started. First, you need to update your Filmora to version 14.7 or higher, as this update has the new Mocha Filmora plugin. After installing the plugin, let's see how to do the head tracking. I've already added my example clips to the timeline. First, select the clip, then go to the Effects tab. Choose Boris Effects, then select Mocha Filmora and add it to your clip like this. Next, go to the Effects settings and launch the Mocha UI. It opens a new interface like this. You can switch the layout between Essential, Classic, Big Picture, and Roto. I recommend keeping the layout set to Classic for the best experience. Now, let's do the face tracking. First, we need to draw a selection on his face. There are a few different drawing tools available, so here I select this one and draw the selection like this. Make sure to add more points for better tracking. After drawing the selection, a new layer is created here, representing the selection. Also, you can readjust these points individually or select multiple points at once. You can also enable show surface and adjust it like this. After drawing the selection, go to the track section, enable the options you need to track. For face tracking, usually only need a translation, which means X and Y motions, but I recommend keeping other settings enabled for more accuracy. Also here, you can select the type of motion like large or small. I choose large motion. Then start the tracking process like this. Then click the play button to review the tracking. You can see it has perfectly tracked his face. Next, go to the stabilize section and play the video again to see the face stabilized video. Also, there are additional settings to smooth the tracking, such as enabling all motion so after enabling this, your video will look stretched like this. This happens because it smooths all the scale, rotation, and shear options. To fix this, turn off all and keep only these two translation options enabled. Then enable maximum smoothing to add frame blending and motion blur, resulting in smoother footage like this. Next, to fix black areas, try the autofill option, but it might not always give good results. So I always recommend going to the borders section, then enabling zoom to remove black areas and enabling center to bring the video to the center. Once finished, save your work by clicking this button, then close the Mocha UI. And then, then it might seem like nothing happened, but go back to the effects settings, select module renders and enable render. Then choose stabilize in the module section. If stabilize doesn't work, select lens distortion instead. It will activate head tracking. You can then readjust the scale and position as needed. And it's done. Now let's move to the second clip. So I use a clip of Tony Stark. You can see that part of his face is blocked by this glass and at the beginning he's looking somewhere else. So 
Let's see if Mocha Tracker can handle this kind of footage. So, add Mocha Filmora to the clip and open the Mocha UI. Then, draw the selection as before. then keeping default settings and start tracking. After tracking, you'll see the tracker follows his face perfectly without any issue. Then you can follow the same process we used before to complete the head tracking. So guys, that's how you can create smooth face tracking with the new Mocha plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're interested in more videos like this, feel free to join my channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.